Merry Christmas to you all. Thank you for being with us at Roswell United Church as we celebrate the birth of our Savior on this holiest of nights. Whether you are a longtime member of our congregation, a visitor, or whether you are a newcomer to our church family, we appreciate that you have incorporated this worship service into your own personal Christmas Eve tradition. Please join us in singing number 60 in Voices United, O Come All Ye Faithful.
opening prayer. Tonight, O oh God, the soles of your feet have touched the earth. Tonight, the back street, the forgotten place, have been lit up with significance far beyond our wildest dreams. Tonight, the households of earth welcome the child of heaven, for you have come among us. You are one of us. So may our songs rise to surround your awesome mystery as our knees bend to approach your cradle. Amen. Amen. Welcome, everybody. It is nice to see you. I'd like to ask the kids to come to the front for our story time today. Come on down. Young and Hart are welcome, too. And Angela and I would like to tell you a Christmas story. It's called Star Bright. It was the end of December, and a baby was to be born. A baby in the heavens, angels turned light with joy. On earth, travelers prepared gifts for the baby. The newest angel watched and wondered. She, too, wanted to give the baby a gift. She tried to think of things that the baby might like. Wind. Wind to blow through the baby's hair. Wind to make the flowers dance. But wind was the gift of the sky. Rain. Rain to cool the baby's skin. Rain to fill the puddles. But rain was the gift of the clouds. What about music? Music to make the baby laugh and music to sing the baby to sleep. But music was the gift of the songbirds. The newest angel looked up. The universe felt so big and she felt so small. The newest angel looked down. How vast the night sky was and how dark. All that darkness made her feel even smaller and a little lonely. Babies were so small. Would the baby feel lonely too? And then far below she saw others. They too looked lonely. No, they looked lost. And then she knew. She knew exactly what to give the baby. She closed her eyes. And she fluttered down. Floating, tumbling, drifting, down, 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 until she came to rest exactly where she needed. In the still of the night, the baby was born. He opened his eyes to kind faces, quiet animals, a soft blanket, and a dark sky made lovely with light. Light in the darkness, the best gift of all. Amen. You know what I like about that story? What I like about that story is that littlest angel, she didn't know what she had to give the baby Jesus. She didn't know what was special and important about her. And she thought of all the different things that people were giving the Christ child, music, wind, all of those wonderful things. And she didn't know what she could give the baby Jesus. And sometimes I feel like that too. I feel like I don't know what gifts that I have that I can share with the world around us. And that story teaches us that all of us are special. All of us have gifts that God has given us that we can share with our friends and our family and the world around us. Some people are really good and like doing things like music. That makes us feel good. It makes other people feel happy. Sometimes the best gift of all that we can give is something that all of us can give. And you know what that is? That's love. Just a smile to somebody who looks a little bit sad. That's a wonderful gift. You could change someone's whole day just by smiling at them. Isn't that a wonderful thing? Well, that story teaches us that all of us can share God's love. All of us can share kindness and compassion. It doesn't matter who we are. We all have those gifts. And that makes me feel happy. And that reminds me of what Christmas is all about, and that's sharing God's love. So, we have more songs to sing. 
We have some stories to tell from the Bible. And just in case you're getting a little bit antsy, we've got some things for you guys to do. So I'm going to pack these out to you. Just some coloring. Maybe there's a candy cane in here. Yes, there is. So would you like one of those? There you go. Aiden, do you want to help me pass these out? Thanks, bud. There you go. Any adults want to have one of these? I, don't, I might have a Sudoku in here, a crossword. There you go. Did we miss anybody? Yes, I thought we might have. Keep going. <laughs> Our next carol is Away in a Manger, number 69 in Voices United. Chapter 2, verses 1 to 7. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David, called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged, and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in bands of cloth, and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. Tonight is the night we have all been waiting for. Our Advent wreath will now be completed by the lighting of our Christ candle. For unto us the child is given, unto us a Savior is born. With the birth of Jesus, our lives will be forever changed. We will be transformed by his message of love. We light this candle to represent the Christ is the center of our lives.
In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and, the, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angels a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go now to Bethlehem and see the thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in a manger. When they saw this, they made known that what had been told them about this child. And all whom have heard, they amazed, and the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her, in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying the praising God and all they have heard and seen, as it has been told to them. Our next carol is number 44. It came upon a midnight clear. Rockwell United has served our neighborhood and the wider world by sharing God's love and worship and in a variety of other ways. Our weekly worship services are held at 10.30 on Sunday morning and we have a nursery available for young children 
and a Sunday school, which we call our Sunday club, for preschoolers to high schoolers. There are plenty of activities for adults too. Our UCW, or United Church Women, meets regularly to learn and enjoy each other's company. Our singles group meets once a month for food and entertainment. And throughout the year, we all get together for dinners, potluck meals, games day, and many other activities. Music is very important at Roswell. In addition to our choir, we have a, both a junior and sorry, we both have a junior and a senior bell choir, soloists, and special time special music offered throughout the year, coordinated and led by our music director, Mr. Paul McMillan. We love him. You're very welcome, honey. He's been giving me a hard time all night just to let you know. <laughs> this year, we will continue to work with the Interchurch Refugee Group to continue our support for the Syrian families we have helped to come to Canada. We also support the Gloucester Emergency Food Cupboard, the Auto Emission, the Well, and Centre 507, and several, several other charities. Reverend Mike leads a winter faith study Wednesday evenings beginning in February and will be holding a confirmation classes for teens this winter and spring as well. If you are visiting tonight and would like more information than that, because that was a lot of information, please see Mike after the service. Now, our invitation to the offering. When the shepherds heard the good news the angels brought, they responded by going to see God's great gift of Jesus and by glorifying and praising God. In the same way, we respond to the amazing things God is doing when we bring our gifts to praising God and giving glory to God. Let us gather for our offering. prayer. There are so many things to be thankful for tonight, God. Receive these tokens of our gratitude for your love incarnate in the babe of Bethlehem. May they become God with us for all the world. May they breathe magic back into a world that needs a sense of wonder and joy. Amen. Oh, this is one of my favorite moments of every church year when we sing Silent Night and we see the church lit up in a very different way than we're used to seeing it. It makes it feel all the more special. So we're going to sing Silent Night and during the hymn, please turn your candles on and towards the end we'll be singing by, well, mostly, nearly candlelight anyway.
please stand as you are able. May the God of the stable help us to see the wonder of Christmas, the wonder of children who can hardly wait, the wonder of Mary and Joseph who feel the power of God's love, the wonder of the shepherds who hear the good news, the wonder of the magi who kneel and offer their gifts, the wonder of the ages that God would come in such a simple birth. Let the people say, Amen. And let's sing our final hymn, Joy to the World. Merry Christmas. <laughs>